Hi everyone, it's Simon from High Flying Games. Hope you're having a great day. This is Dog Gong Golfing. Uh, a game that's available on PS4 and I'm sure on PC and probably Xbox One as well. And I can see this going well on the Switch. Uh, this is a 2D side scrolling golf game featuring doggies and lots of dog puns. Now, the big thing here, as you can see up in the top screen, is that this is numerically based and you just use the left and right on your D-pad uh, to move this back and forth. And that's essentially you adjusting your strength. And then you have two different types of hits. Ah, I thought we were gonna get a, a, howl, a howl in one, but we didn't. We'll get a barky instead. It's a little birdie. Cue those puns. And um, yeah, so what happens with this game is because you're smacking an ice puck rather than... Oh! Ah! Yeah! You're smacking an ice puck, which means that it's going to bounce off of the terrain, as, you're, as you can see in all of this. So, because nothing's getting air, the air is being given to the puck by the terrain. So, you've got two different shots, and one gives slightly more bounce and angst than the other. Um, but equally... At the same time, yay. you might not want that because a lot of the courses, as you can see, you've got like a downhill section there, so you're a bit like, hmm, uh, do I want to hit really that hard and fast? Because actually what could happen is I could end up, ah, oh, that was unfortunate, bad timing. I mean, I, well, that, that's exactly what these courses are set out to do, is to put you in situations where you think, right, I might need to roll a bit harder to get over that gravel trap, uh, and you might push too hard. But what I really like about this system of, of the pushing of strength both left and right is that it is algorithmic. So because you leave your traces behind of where you've gone, say if you completely overshoot and you fly off the other end, which causes your ball to be reset anyway, um, you can kind of work out then, right, if I go like too slower this time, or too harder or softer this time round, I could get that howl in one uh, and really go for it. So I really like that aspect because it takes some, you could argue that it takes some of the skill out, but actually it makes it much more of a mathematical and methodical approach to stuff. So if you struggle with golf games and you like the old style golf games, failing miserably now. Uh, where, do you remember like the old PGA Tour games where it was like the three button touch and you'd go for a certain meter and things like that? This is so much more closer to those types of games than it is to anything that's out there in the current golf market. And I really appreciate that, actually, to be honest. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> ah, new hole. Keep going. Show that gameplay, Simon. Uh, let's try. That's a wrist shot. Turn those meteors off, which you can do to be fair in this practice mode, it's just I've left them on uh, to show you that they exist. Uh, so, you do also have uh, animals that you can hit, and they will that will affect where your puck goes. The meteors certainly do, um, as do uh, like water features. Oh no, schmiffles, that's just sad. <laughs> that's just sad, Simon. I bet that goes too far over. Yep. And we're going to go off the screen. Which means we reset. And that's that mechanic explained. So, if I dive back out to the menu, alongside uh, the practice, you've got the World Tour, which takes you through 20 stages, or 20 environments. Each one has eight tournaments and 18 holes per tournament. Now, obviously, you saw some of the layouts there, so they're quite similar in terms of look and feel, but they do get progressively harder very quickly, uh, as I'm finding out in World Tour, because you only you only get to progress if you get past par, and everything's a par three, so you can imagine how that might uh, test your skills. Dog Golf Arena is where you've also got uh, couch co-op mode as well, should you want to. 
um, and it's taking in turns just passing one controller around. And here you can see whether or not you want wind on or off because wind really affects the puck. Uh, and I didn't notice that wind was even a thing in this game until like four courses in. I was like, ah, that's why I can't quite get it. So I really commend the game for that. Uh, you can also turn boulders on and off uh, and you can play versus as you can see a five tiered computer so if you just actually want to go up against someone in a proper traditional golf game you can do that now i'm really really enjoying this game there's a couple of weird um things though that kind of make me go hmm uh, and i will dive into world tour mode to explain uh, actually no I won't, I will go into my results to show. So, um, you go through these courses and once you've completed them you can't seem to replay any of them again, you can only see your scores from before. But actually I might want to go back and replay that set of levels over and again. So it feels a bit of a wasted opportunity that I'm like, right I've completed 145 holes but can't really beat any of my score anymore. And, and what I'm finding at the moment is that um, sometimes you might find yourself in a place like this where you're a bit stuck you can see the wind effect going on in the background there. Uh, and I am 30 shots in in this game, but I can't reset my whole level from the beginning, which means that what I'm going to have to do is go all the way to the end and fail um, on the other 18 holes, and then have to try and do it all again. Um, and it's because for whatever reason, I just have not been able to get past this hole. And, and I'm sure I'll get there eventually, but by the time I do, I'm already 31 shots over, which means that I'm already going to fail. Oh, hang on. I know this is mid-review, but for the love of God. Stay. Just the, just the 34 shots again! But, as you can see now, um, I will continue on with the game, but I can't restart anything uh, until the meantime because I'm going to have to go through and fail at everything, which seems a bit of a weird thing to do because you can't restart anything and you can't replay anything you've already had, which means that I think when World Tour is over, what do I have left as a single player to kind of deal with? So if that was sorted, um, this game would be an absolute recommend. Uh, the coins, by the way, is so that you can buy um, customised pucks in the menu in the shop. So yeah, um, this is Dog on Golfing. Really loving the game. The couple of weird design choices on how you can replay levels or restart stuff if you've done it horribly wrong. Um, a niggly. But if they were fixed, this would be an absolute no-brainer recommend, especially because it is hugely cheap uh, in, in America. It's not cheap in the UK at the moment, but I can tell by the developer that that will change. Um, however, it hadn't changed by the time that I'd got paid from work, so um, I bought it on the American store instead. Sorry, developer. Um, <laughs> and as if the fate of God... <laughs> was coming down on me i think i'll wrap it up there dog on golfing available now two thumbs up thanks for watching bye for now this channel is just one of my many projects that cover games music and film if you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash thank you for your time and for watching the video